Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the third part of our Edward 148 scale MiG 21R build. Right then, we have done all the major construction on the kit and are now ready to start painting, which we do by painting the canopy with the cockpit interior turquoise. We will be going with an open canopy on this kit and the turquoise will allow the inside of the canopy to match the rest of the cockpit. I have masked off all the parts that have been already painted like the nose and the wheel wells and now we can start with pre-shading. I am using Tamiya black and the air pressure is about 12 psi. For the first coat of paint, for the lower half of the fuselage, I will be using Tamiya Light Blue XF23. I fill in the panels first and then use light misty coats to blend the panel lines in. Firstly, this helps me clean up any mistakes I have made during the pre-shading. And secondly, it allows me to control the amount of pre-shading I want to show through.
In my excitement to paint the kit, I forgot that there are some panels that need to be painted bright green. I now try and hand paint them, but that never produces the even finish that an airbrush does. So finally, I airbrush these panels, including the one on the tail. The kit comes with masks for these panels, so I mask off the areas and redo the pre-shading. I then clean up the extra green and cover up the pre-shading by reapplying the light blue. Right, now for the camo pattern. So, as I had said earlier, I was not really thrilled with the color suggestions in the instructions. For example, the instructions state that I should be using Mr. Color 44 Tan for the first coat. But that did not look right to me at all. It is perhaps not visible on the camera, but the tan I felt had a hint of pink in it, and it just did not look right to me at all. So, I then narrowed it down to these two paints. Mr. Color 39 Dark Yellow or Sandy Yellow and Mr. Hobby Aquas 39 Cream Yellow. There were a couple of more options that I explored like these paints from MIG and Aiken Interactive. However, in the end, I decided that the Cream Yellow was the color I liked best. For the second coat, I decided to use Mr. Color 135 Russian Green 1. This proved to be the wrong choice, but that came later.
For the third coat, I chose Mr. Color 43, Wood Brown. I believe this is the only color I am using which was suggested in the instructions. For the last shade of camo, I used Mr. Color 15 IJN Green Nakajima. There are a couple of surfaces where the aircraft identification numbers go. These need to be painted in dark brown, for which I choose Tamiya XF10 flat brown. Now coming back to my choice of Mr. Color 135 Russian Green. Once the aircraft was painted, I did not like the way it was looking. And so, I decided to replace it with Mr. Color 55 Khaki. I like this color much better. I later went back with some cream yellow and cleaned up any overspray from the other camo colors. The kit was given a couple of coats of gloss varnish to protect the paintwork. Once the varnish was dry, it was time to start with the decaling. Right then, it was time now for the excruciating task of fixing the billion stencils. But we will cover that in the next episode. That's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do subscribe and like. Till then, good luck and happy modeling.